For years I've carried a small EDC pouch with me everywhere I go. I leave this with me whenever I'm leaving the house, I leave it in the truck. If I'm going out on a motorcycle ride, I'll just stick it in one of my panniers. But I always have this everywhere I go and it serves many purposes. It's my tech EDC mostly pouch. It's got a couple of tools in it, but it's also got some emergency stuff in it just in case I need it. So I'm gonna go through it today to see what I carry in my tech EDC pouch. How's it going folks? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Marcus and on this channel I explore all things technology, EDC, and anything that can help me live a happier, balanced, more productive life. First of all, just opening it up. It is crammed pack. Um, I have a small Mant EDC uh, little tin here, which I'll go through in a minute. I've got my most used things, which are some band-aids. I got um, uh, small kids and they fall and cut themselves all the time. So having band-aids, I use them all the time. I've got a spare mask, an N95 mask. Uh, you know, probably don't need this as much anymore, but it's just been in there for a long time. And I've got some medic gloves in case uh, there have been times when I've needed these in the past where I've had to help people out uh, who are in kind of emergency situations. So I always keep a set of medics gloves with me uh, just in case that happens. And then you've got the bulk of what I really carry in my tech EDC pouch. And this is stuff that I use frequently. So first and foremost, I've got a set of earplugs. I ride a motorcycle um, and if I'm going on highways, I always wear earplugs while I'm doing that. I have lots of earplugs in the motorcycle just in case I forget or in my motorcycle jacket. But I always car carry one pair with me just to be safe. I carry a Sharpie. Always handy, no reason to explain why that's necessary. And a regular pen as well. These Uniballs, these, uh, what are these called? Uniball, Uniball Eye Micros. These are absolutely fantastic. One of my favorite uh, writing pens uh, in black. I also carry a flashlight with me. This is my second flashlight, it's only tiny. I always have a flashlight on my keyring with me as well. Same flashlight. But I carry this just in case I run out of batteries or if I need to lend it to someone, I like to have a little spare flashlight with me. The things that I actually use mostly though are these cables. These are USB-A cables, the old style, because I have a power bank in here that uses these style. But I carry one for, I carry a USB-A to a USB-C for charging. I carry a USB-A to lightning connector to charge my phone if I'm stuck on the go, or I carry a, a micro USB as well, all for charging. And then I just have a very small power bank that fits in this case. This one I got for free years ago, uh, but it's always charged um, and it's a USB-A connector. So mostly I use this just for getting my phone up to speed. If I'm out, I'm a useless navigator. I never know where I am. So I need to make sure that I've got my phone so I can use my sat nav. I do charge my phone while I'm riding my motorcycle. I've got a quad lock uh, plug-in set up and I charge it through the motorcycle. But if that were to ever fail, I like just the reassurance of having a little power bank, an external power bank uh, to keep my phone charged and help me find my way home. Then I've got some, some basic stuff, like I've got a tire pressure gauge, a very small tire pressure gauge, um, handy for the truck, handy for the motorcycle, and then things for, for small repair, repairs. It's always handy, again with kids, I carry a, a super glue with me. Uh, I buy these in bulk, I use a lot of super glue. Toys break a lot of the time where I need to fix something. So I carry that with me wherever I go. And then I've got something really cool. This is called the Nyko, but it's a ratcheting uh, bit driver. So what I can do with this is I've got, um, I carry a set of bit heads with me. So if ever I want to create a screwdriver, if I need to screw something in, something's a little loose, uh, if I need to fix something when I'm out, this is super handy because you can take these bit heads, um, you can put it in this bit driver and you can, uh, you know, it's ratcheting so you can get into those spaces and you can tighten things up. If you need to get into a difficult place that maybe that's kind of too awkward of an angle, if it's something you need to drop down into, I also keep a bit extender as well. And this is a Makita bit extender I got with my drill. So I can use that as a regular screwdriver just to be able to uh, like that. Or if it needs a little bit more torque, I can connect that to the Nikita and I can get, I can get more leverage on it uh, to tighten something in. Uh, in place and it's super handy and you'd be surprised how often I use it because when you have a screwdriver with you basically with different bit, head, bit heads when you're out you'd be surprised how many times you find a use for one of these screwdrivers. People are always surprised when you know you're able to pull out a hex head when there's something something breaks or something's loose and you're able to pull out a hex head or a Phillips head screwdriver from a very small pouch like that it's super handy uh, and I use it all the time. Then I carry a small pocket knife it's this Victorinox it's great you can see it's it's a uh, very used um, but it's got it's got a large blade it's got a small blade use it for opening boxes it's got a can opener it's got a bottle opener 
I don't think I've ever opened a can with one of these, but I've certainly used the bottle opener. And then it has a wine bottle opener. I've used this probably more than 10 times to uh, save the day to get a bottle of wine open when we've been trying to have a bottle of wine uh, and we didn't have a, a corkscrew opener with us. And in it, I keep everything in this Maxpedition pouch, but I just like it because it's the perfect size to carry. There's a lot of stuff to be able to carry in something small like this. And then the final thing is I have this little EDC tin and this is a very, I used to carry this in my top pocket up here in my in my uh, watch pocket. Someone in the comments told me this is a watch pocket. But ever since I started carrying my AirPods in that pocket, this got relegated. But this was the tiny EDC tin I used to carry in there all the time. And it's got lots of small little things just to help. Let's go through what that is now. So the first thing is a micro USB to USB-C converter. It's tiny. I keep a needle and thread in there. I started carrying this when, uh, when I was working in an office in the UK when I ripped the shoulder on my shirt one day. I also ripped the crotch of my pants and I really wished I had a little bit of thread just to get me through to be able to get out the door and get home without being embarrassed. So uh, I carry this with me ever since, just a needle and thread. I carry a very small Spyderco blade. It does have a sharp edge on it. It really works. I, I've used it to cut things, but I just keep it in there because it's tiny and it fits. So this is called the AOE performance whistle. I'll turn this down in the sound, but this is a loud whistle. That's a very loud whistle. I can hear that ringing in my ears. I like this for two reasons. I like it as an emergency whistle if there was, if ever I was in a situation where I needed to get attention and I couldn't shout for it. But the second reason is these bit heads fit in the end of it and you can use it as a screwdriver as well. Another thing I did was I taped a the strike a striker head for matches uh, on the inside of the lid and I have about six or eight matches in there for if I ever need to start a fire for any reason or um, I've got some tape wrapping them up as well so that I have some masking tape. And on top of that, actually the thing I use most in this tin is I, I have a phone uh, to change the SIM out of my phone. I change my SIMs more than you would think or people need help with that frequently and people are looking for paper clips. I just carry a phone, uh, the thing you get with your phone when you buy it to change the SIMs out. I keep it in there, but I can use those matches against the striker head on the inside of the tin to start a fire if I need to. I carry a USB-C. Uh, I have on here, I have it's um, a password, password locked folder, but I have a couple of important documents um, if I need them, things like ID, etc. Uh, if I was in a situation where uh, I needed to be able to prove ID and I didn't have any of my other stuff on me, uh, I keep those on here. A couple of paper clips, a little small uh, tiny pen, a little biro, a couple of quarters for parking meters if ever I, I'm stuck and I don't have cash on me and uh, um, some money. I, I keep some cash in here, some emergency cash uh, forever from a situation where I'm out and I can't pay with my phone, which is mostly how I pay, or for whatever reason my wallet's not working. I like to have cash on me, bit old school like that, but I always like to have that with me. And it all packs up into this really small Maxpedition pouch, and it's just reassuring to have it. If you'd like me to go into any more detail in any one of these things specifically, let me know. I'd be more than happy to. I hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck.